All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Niger Show. And as it is, I tell you, I said we get one very better guest who will join us this morning. And he's here with us in the studio, uh, someone who has done great, great works. Yes, great works both internationally and as a matter of this, we're here to always bring you the best. And this uh, individual who will join us this morning, a legendary producer. Mm, legendary producer. When I say that, you know that he has really done stuff. Uh, Mr. Flip Webster, how you doing, sir? How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Thank you for uh, uh, bringing me here. It's good, it's good, it's good. At least you are in the shores of Niger. You are here to do... How? Well, let me just ask, how's your experience been so far staying in the country? Nigeria has been really beautiful and a wonderful experience. Good, yes. good. All right, I like that. It's good that you can, you, you can see it from that perspective. Yeah, good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. I like that. So, Yes, uh, you have. Let, let, let me just let them know who you are. You know, someone who you've done a lot of things for the industry, talking about hip hop in general. Uh, over two decades of actual production work, uh, you've worked with uh, great artists in the world. Yeah, great artists in the world. For those who know, uh, the famous Tupac Shakur, his work with Tupac, yes, he's been there doing things. And the people are wondering, ah, so you work with Tupac? That's my guy. <laughs> you know, that's my guy. I, I, I'd like to know, how, how was it for you working with Tupac, though? How's been, what was the experience? You know, working with Tupac before he was Tupac yeah. was uh, fantastic because you could see who this legend was about to be. He mm. was always a legend from the beginning. Great. And when we went, well, when, I got to mention Marty Thomas, by the no way. Problem. No piece. problem. Marty, Marty yeah. Thomas, yeah. Uh, who was hired by Jerry Heller, who brought me on to yeah. the team in yeah. situations. Uh, we were doing the video for Above the Law, okay. and Money B, who is actually the, 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 the working force for Digital Underground, mm -hmm. rest in peace, Humpty, who just passed who just away. Passed on, who yes. just passed on. Yeah. So Money B is who brought uh, Tupac, to above the law for mm -hmm. the call it what you want video. Mm -hmm. And you could tell this guy was, uh, you could tell he was going to take the industry. Hmm. I mean, his, his, his personality was dynamic. Mm -hmm. His ability and talent was just, I mean, just all over the place. Mm -hmm. And you could tell that it, he had a lot more going for him right there. Great you know? stuff. Yeah, great stuff. Great stuff. Good. It's, it's good the way you could, you could, for someone who has been in the industry for that long, you could tell when you see talent and how far that talent can go. That's great. Well, I mean, I can see this right here. I mean, this is, this is probably one of Nigeria, this is not probably, this is one of Nigeria's best talent. Thank you, know what you very saying? much. This is the next Thank one right here. Much. This is the next one right Thank here. You. Thank you. you. Know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So now let's take a quick look at the video that he just talked about so that we can understand what uh, we're really saying. Check it out, guys. We're still here. Let's take a look at the video. You see right. that? You right. see that? That right. that is it. That that was right. one of the amazing videos that you know they put together to push out you know that uh, conversation. Check that out. That was too far doing his thing. I know that, like you were saying when you were seeing the video, it brings back memories. It brings right? back memories. <laughs> it brings you back there. You know, once once again, bringing back um, director Marty Thomas, rest in peace. Yeah. He passed away a couple of years ago from cancer. Um, once again, bringing back Jerry Heller, who mm -hmm. passed who away passed as well. Away too. Yeah. Um, Jerry hired Marty for this new genre because of what you just seen right there on mm. Call It What You Want. Mm. It was, black television is difficult in the first place mm. in America, okay. which is why I'm in Nigeria. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> That's why black people That's came to Nigeria. Yes. You know yes. So, so um, the idea of black people and then the idea of rap at that time when it first came out, mm -hmm. because you got the profanity, you got the vulgarity, yeah. you got the da 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 yeah. It took the, the artistic creativeness of Marty Thomas mm -hmm. to be able to take those lyrics, to mm -hmm. be able to take that, the, the essence of that video and paint it in such a way that it was, that it was approved by television um, what is that called? Not critics, but the television, they have like the census board. They have like your census right, the, board, the, yeah. the little census board and stuff like that. So it, it took that guy to do it. Now, if there was no Marty, now everyone mm. always talks about hype in New York and everything mm -hmm, like that, mm -hmm. but they were doing a whole different type of thing. Mm -hmm. West Coast is gangster rap. Mm -hmm, West Coast is, is, is an entirely different animal. It's a different thing. So it took Marty to be able to take that genre yeah. and be able to package it in such a way that it was deliverable to mm -hmm. television or else those guys wouldn't have ate. They wouldn't exist, yeah. They wouldn't have existed at yeah. all. 
Yeah. And that's something that taught me about programming, which is why I'm here. Okay. And what it taught me about programming and packaging mm -hmm. was one thing that I always tell people is media got us into this mess. Mm -hmm. Media can get us out of this mess. True. And what you see happening um, in, in, in modern day culture and modern day media, what you see happening today is that you see media uncontrolled. Mm. Hmm. You see the programming uh, taking us in the directions that we don't need to be. Okay. And, and one of the things that I'm, I'm enjoying about uh, Nigeria, we can talk about the, 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 the minuses and all the rest mm -hmm. is good stuff. The greatest thing about Nigeria, and all you out there, Nigerians, should understand <laughs> this. <laughs> here's, here's the thing you guys should wake up with and understand. Okay. You're in control of your own narrative. True. True. You tell your own story. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm watching Nigerian television, and it's talking about everything from the ancestors all the way to present situations. Mm -hmm. And this is the type of thing that um, the freedom, mm. Mm. the freedom, mm -hmm. the, the people looking for freedom in all different places and all different things. True. But this is the freedom mm. that the American kid is over here looking for to be able to do um, good things on this side of the ocean mm -hmm. and the, the side of the ocean I originally came from. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so, you, so you coming out to Nigeria now, seeing, um, look, look at how we do our own production and what we do. Because you, you said uh, at least we're trying to bring back the history, you know, everything, put it together to make it sellable. Do you think we're doing it? Right. I think it's fantastic. Mm. Now, 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 you would have asked me that um, five, ten years ago, mm. um, and, and, and looking at how fast... We've grown. Oh, my God. Mm. Okay. okay. Oh, my God. Overnight. Hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, it went from like a bad, bad Chinese movies. There's this, this one particular one that always comes on social media where the guy has the machine he gun and he's shooting, guy, yeah. he's shooting the guy with the, he's shooting the guy on this motorcycle and stuff. There's bullets flying all over the place. And the guy can't, he can't figure out when he got hit and when he's going to fall. <laughs> you, know what I'm saying? you know, and so it went from that yeah. to the type of programming that I was watching all the way down near until this, this, until I had to get up and come yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and it's fantastic. Mm, mm, makes sense. I, I, I like the fact that you see it that way also. Now, let's talk about our film now. Uh, because uh, a lot of times people will say uh, our stories, sometimes we get to repeat stories. We don't have like new stories, or we, we're not probably telling the stories the right way. Do you think this is true coming from a place where you've seen it grow and you've seen it uh, um, the, the way the growth has it been in America and here in Nigeria? Our stories, our filmmaking, what do you think about it? The best is yet to come. Okay. The best is yet to come. Mm. Um, we're talking about a people mm -hmm. who have, uh, oh God, what, easily eight centuries of stories to tell. Mm. Easily eight centuries of stories to tell. Mm. So there, there are more stories than producers, directors, and actors have life True. to live. True. So the best is still yet to come when it comes to, to, to Nollywood. Mm -hmm. um, what I would like to see is um, less of a pace that's following behind Western traditions and mm -hmm. less of a pace that is, uh, um, well, we do the same thing. Yeah. And, and I, guess that, that, I guess that's the curse of media. <laughs> but, um, you know, the, the power that, that, that you have is to be able to write the future. Mm -hmm. and, and that's in another reason why I'm here. And rather than, rather than to, to still drag out the, the traditional stories of um, who's dating who and who's yeah. doing that and all yeah. that mess, you have the, the writers have the, the challenge and the power to set the pace for the future mm -hmm. and begin writing in ideas and, and, and um, inspirations okay. that, that, that drive genre, mm -hmm. that drive generations, mm -hmm. that drive culture. Mm -hmm. So you have the aspect of, of, of respecting the past of where you came from. Mm -hmm. And this is something that we're having a difficulty in America in doing. It's very difficult for us to teach our youth the history mm. because we slam right up into slavery and mm -hmm. you can't get the youth to They're like, hold on, whoa, 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 we don't want another slave movie. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want another slave we don't movie. Want that. You know? But we're, we're, we're trying to broaden 
the understanding of the land prior to colonization, mm -hmm. prior to slavery, mm -hmm. and give them uh, uh, more of a foundation mm -hmm. that makes them more international. Great, great stuff, great stuff. Guys, uh, because of time, we can't really take so much of the conversation, but trust me, uh, Flip Wester is here. He's in the country, and he's going to be doing a whole lot of things. So i like, uh, Mr. Flip, uh, how can we follow you on Instagram or your social media so that we can keep the conversation going on? What's, what's your handle like? Uh, the handle in, uh, um, let's see, the Instagram thing, yeah. uh, what do you call it? It's uh, Edison Sue, the original. Okay. Or the original Edis to Sue. Okay. Um, okay. And you can get me on, uh, we have Edis to Sue. Uh, dot biz at us to dot com. Mm -hmm. uh, you should have put that yeah. there so no, you can no, spell no, it's, it. it's all right. We'll, we'll put it on the screen <laughs> yeah, for them to yeah, see. Uh, for those who want to follow for more information, like he said, he's here to make sure some things are, uh, we see things differently when it comes to productions and stuff like that. Mr. Flip Webster, thank you for having us for coming thank on the show. Thanks for your time. Appreciate it. It was great. It was great. 